Bitcoin is breaking down right now, but how low will we go and what will happen next? What are the levels that we have to look out for? So let me jump here straight into the charts. Hi, my name is Alex from AM Crypto and I am here on the one hourly time frame. So if you remember yesterday, I had told you that this bull flag here is potentially playing out and that we will hit also our target here. So and the bull flag was here and the measured target was 35,786. And we went exactly to my target, exactly as I has had predicted it, and then we started to break down. So, and the breakdown came from a rising channel or rising wedge here that we were forming here on the way up to our bull flag target. And a falling, um, a rising wedge tends more often to break to the downside than to break to the upside. And that's, uh, that is exactly what happened here on the uh, one hourly time frame. So the next levels that I'm looking here, let me show you. So we are running now into some sort of support that is coming from here. So you can see we have here along that line, here this line was support, here it was support, here it was support, we got supported here and also there before we broke down. And then we broke up here over the weekend again. And now we are getting again supported here. So if this level would break, the next level that I would look out for as major, major support, so that would be $33,450. So if the $34,100 level is not holding and we break under it, then $33,500 would be the next level that I would be watching here. So and there can definitely made, be made the case that we still go lower here. So when we go now here to the four hourly time frame, you see much, much better what happened. So, and because we are still here in this bear flag here. So we broke here to the upside. And if you remember from yesterday, I had mentioned that when we come closer here to the upper resistance of that bear flag, that we will run here into major, major re uh, resistance here and that we could potentially see uh, a rejection from here to the downside. But let's watch the clip from yesterday again where I had predicted this. A little retracement right now. But regardless, I still believe we will come all the way up here to test the resistance completely. Um, and then we have to see if we either break through it or if we get a really strong rejection to the downside. And there you see exactly as I had mentioned to you guys just yesterday that we had to be cautious here. So, and from here now onwards, like I said, I expect further downside to the next level of support around $33,500 here in that kind of range. And from there, we potentially turn that around and test the resistance of that bear flag again and then potentially break to the, to the upside. So if we continue to bounce here in that bear flag up and down, then what could potentially could happen is that this is not a bear flag anymore because we are too long here already consolidating to the downside. Then it's more, uh, more a downward trending channel. And then we just have to break above the channel to um, get here further, further to, the, to the upside. It would then invalidate the, also the, bull flag, uh, the bear flag target all the way down um, to 20k. But like I mentioned in the other video uh, yesterday, I don't believe that we will um, see such a strong breakdown. There are other le uh, levels of support that we would run into first and that would be here the thirty. Uh, $2,800 level, which has a hold for the last couple of weeks, uh, quite some significance here and was never actually broken. So, and then uh, on my trade, so if you remember, I had mentioned to you on Telegram that you should take profits as soon as we were running here into this resistance of the bear flag. Uh, and because it was also lining up with our bull flag target, that we should take some profits here. Um, and the other day, I also mentioned to you when I get close here to this uh, resistance of the bear flag, 
that I will close my trade and then reconsider depending on if we are breaking to the upside or breaking to the downside what my next trade will be. So and I would only take a new position either if we break here to the upside above the bear flag and confirm it as support or if we break down on the bear flag and continue to go here much much lower. But yeah, for the time being, I'm sitting on the sidelines and just will observe the market, what's going to happen. We are not chasing trades. We are waiting for con confirmation here in the market, either to the upside or to the downside. And only then we are taking a trade because we want to make money here and are not gambling with our money. So if you want to take advantage of the trades call that I usually give here on Twitter absolutely for free and give you special warnings also on my Telegram channel, then go down below on the pinned comment and click on my referral links to Bybit and to Femex. You can get a cumulative bonus there for an initial deposit of $1,800 in bonuses. So in these $1,800, if you trade with 30x leverage, that it gives you approximately $50,000 bonus absolutely for free that you can trade after you had done an initial deposit. I hope you enjoyed this episode again. Please smash up the like button, destroy the YouTube algorithm. Let's try to get this video to 100 likes. We were the last couple of times so close, but this time, please, let's try to get it to 100 likes. And yeah, subscribe to my channel, get, uh, click the notification bell, and see you guys tomorrow.